Good afternoon. Hi, it's Martin again from the Filipino Hospitality and welcome again for joining us for our upscale learning sessions. So we're live again, of course, from my home <laughs> and I think from everybody's home. And it's going to be an interesting motivational Mondays today, no? Because we have very special guests with us, right? Because uh, in fact, uh, our our episode today is about side hustle, and it was inspired by this viral photo I saw in social media, where a chief flight attendant from Thailand well, is actually doing grab delivery right now, no? So na inspire po yung ano? na inspire po tayo doon. And I wanted to see, kasi nung mga previous webinars natin, uh, we've been talking about productivity, we've been talking about things that our tourism professionals can do right now while on ECQ. And karamihan po are feeling helpless, they're feeling hopeless. No? Wala pong trabaho, wala pong turismo. No? Karamihan sa mga tour guides natin, wala pong ginagawa right now. And so they're asking Sir, ano kayang pwede nating gawin right now while we're on lockdown? Some destinations have transitioned already to GCQ, di ba? Modified GCQ. So medyo nag-relax na na yung kanilang mga areas. And so, naghahanap sila ng mga opportunities, right? So now, what we're going to be doing now, this afternoon, we're going to talk with several tourism stakeholders, no? Meron po tayong isang hotelier, Meron po isang travel agent who is also a tourism officer in their area. And we also have a flight attendant with us who are currently doing side hustle. Gum gumagawa po sila ng mga discarte, syempre, to survive this pandemic, right? So uh, before we begin, of course, uh, we're going to share with you first a little uh, background naman on why we're doing this, right? So the Filipino hospitality, through it to its brand, through to its uh, core, no? Essentially, we want to upskill. We want to teach our stakeholders into developing into the best versions of themselves. And that's what we would, we want to do. You know? Now, we wanted to start the week right. That's why we came up with the Monday Motivational and end the week right you know, on a positive note. That's why we have a free day Friday. So that's our inspiration natin for the upskill live learning sessions. Now, uh, na-mention na po natin, no? today is Monday and we want to start it, right? We want to be motivated. We want to be inspired. Kaya yan po ang ating topic. Now, ang ginagawa ng, I just want to give a highlight po, no? Alam naman po natin talaga ang impact ng COVID-19, but we want to teach more about it. Kasi syempre, no, sabi nila, hindi natin masusolusyonan ang isang bagay pag hindi natin alam. Kung ano ito. So in order for us to understand better what it is, no, I just want to give a highlight on the different impacts of COVID-19, right? For us to better understand it. Okay? So kung titignan po natin, no, the world is facing an unprecedented global health, social, and economic emergency with a COVID-19 pandemic. So wala pa pong nangyayari ganito. Nagkaroon po tayo ng Spanish flu, Nagkaroon po tayo na SARS in the past, but it's nothing compared to COVID-19. Now, the travel and tourism is among the most affected sectors with airplanes on the ground, hotels closed, and travel restrictions put in place in virtually all countries around the world. And alam po natin na nangyayari ito dito po sa ating bansa. Now, in an unprecedented blow to the tourism sector, the COVID-19 pandemic has cut international tourist arrivals in the first quarter of 2020 to a fraction of what they were a year ago. Ka, nung last year po, ang ganda po ng ating statistics, patuloy po na pataas, parami, ng parami ang ating mga turista. No? And of course, most of you already know that. You've experienced it in your hotels, in your travel agency, right? So, so far, so good. However, suddenly, COVID-19 is here. Now, with this scenario, actually placed 100 to 120 million direct tourism jobs at risk. Marami po ang problema talaga ngayon sa tourism industry. Now, in the Philippines, over 250,000 Filipinos may risk losing their jobs if tourist arrivals are half. Sabi po ito ng ADB, no? ganyan po kadami ang talagang pwedeng mawalan ng ating Mga trabaho. Now, sabi ni Coach AJ, no, yung kasamaan po natin from Accor, 
uh, it was reported by next week or in about two weeks, more of our overseas Filipino workers will be sent home from abroad because of this situation. So talagang ah, grabe na po ang nangyayari. This is by far the worst result in the historical series of international tourism since 1950. So ganun po talaga katindi no? ang, ang sitwasyon ngayon. Right? So it's really difficult for us. We have to understand the gravity of this situation. Now, what we want to do, diba? Siyempre, I want to teach us something, no? And I want to highlight on this word, hustle. Ano bang hustle, diba? Pag sinabi natin hustle, napaka-hustle mo naman, hindi po yun, no? It's basically the innate hunger to build, create, do something, and try. And I think this is what we have to do right now. Most of us are essentially stuck in a rut, no? Walang ginagawa. So, so, ano gawin natin? Magko-complain na lang po ba tayo? Hihingi na lang po ba tayo at aasa po tayo sa ayuda ng gobyerno? Wala pong mangyayari sa atin pag ginawa po natin yon, right? So, we have to really do whatever it takes for us to survive this pandemic, no? Sabi dito, it's the ability to make things happen in light of knowing how to get there, no? But operate with the general principle that actions breed results. So hindi po pwedeng maghihintay lang tayo. Dapat po gumawa po tayo ng action. Tama po ba? Right? So if you are here, if you're watching, maybe we would like to also hear from you no? in the comments below. What are you currently doing now? No? What's keeping you busy? Right? So marami po tayong mga guests. Right? So right now, si Sir Ed Ibanez. Good afternoon, sir. He's watching from Bacolod. Hi, Mr. Amon. Welcome. Uh, we also have viewers watching from Iligan City, from Isabela Region uh, 2, no? Si Sir Sam Acosta, right? Uh, we also have the Association of Tour Guides of Negros. Good afternoon po, mga taga-Bacolod. Ako, napaka, nakakamiss naman pong bumalik dyan at matikman ulit ang mga masasarap na pagkain, right? Oh, we also have a sister from Bangkok, Thailand. She's an ASEAN master as well. Hello, JJ. It's good to see that you're with us again. Um, we have Migs, uh, an Aton member, a tour guide, of course, represented po ang ating mga tour guides. And we really empathize no, that we're all going through this together, right? So meron po tayong watching from Glan Sarangani. Hello po from Miss Ro Bellimac. Nako, nakapunta po ako sa resort na yan, ni Miss Bellimac. Nako, napakaganda po. You have to try it. You have to go there. So, parami pa po tayong viewers. We're about 40 now and we're reaching up to 1,200 already. Very good. Okay. So, it's good to see uh, familiar faces, no? And if you do have comments and suggestions, yeah, no, feel free to message our email or DM us po. And of course, engage with us here at uh, our comments. No? So we're already live in Facebook and in YouTube right now. Okay? So yan, continue lang po natin yung pinag-uusapan natin. No? We're about hustle. Now, sinabi natin, napaka-importante na kailangan natin meron we want to racket na pinagkakaabalahan ngayon, please comment in this comment uh, section what is what are you selling? What are the products you're promoting right now? And please go ahead and if you do have a page, share it because we want to help as much as we can for everyone. Right? Now, sabi po natin we have special guests today and so we do have very special guests this afternoon. Right? So meron po tayo as mentioned, no? we have with us Miss Yafa Cirelos. She is actually a domestic lead cabin crew for Cebu Pacific Air. We also have si Sir Lax Mendoza. He's an ASEAN master, no? And he's the GM and currently uh, the tourism officer of Municipality of Dolores, right? So napaka-active naman po nito sa mga travel associations and no longer needs further introduction. And so we also have, last but not the least, si Mr. Rab Wendia. He's the operations manager of FB Hotel in Coronadal, South Cotabato. So maybe before we can talk to them individually, let's let's try to uh, see them naman. Let's meet them in person. It's good to always have a face no, to meet our guests. All right? So I just want to welcome everybody uh, to our 
Skill Live Learning Sessions. How are you, everyone? Yo, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon, Rap. Hi, Yafa. Hi, good afternoon, Martin. And to Rap. And to the beautiful lady there. Good afternoon to all of you. By the way, Martin, it's uh, Dolores Province of Quezon. Right, Dolores Province of Quezon. Thank you for that, Max. Right, so there. Uh, marami po tayong gustong pag-usapan, no? Because, of course, no, nakikita ko po, napaka-active nitong mga to sa social media. Na-mention natin, si Sir Rap is currently the operations manager of FB Hotel. Uh, si Ms. Yafa is a uh, lead, no? Cabin crew of for Cebu Pacific. And si Lax, of course, the tourism officer of Dolores Queso. Now, ang dami po nilang ginagawa. However, because of the pandemic, no, we're at a situation na tumigil po lahat. No? So, maybe, Sir Lax, maybe we can start with you. I understand you have a commitment. no? Uh, maybe we can start with you. Maybe you can share current what you're what's keeping you busy now hi martin thank you for that good afternoon again to all our listeners and viewers um actually uh martin uh sabi nga ni katriona gray diba? let's start it off with that na you have to look at the silver lining so this great pandemic really affected each and every one of us so siguro kailangan lang talaga natin uh, mag-isip kung ano ang mga bagay na pwede natin isusustain sabi ko nga um hindi naman lahat ng oras meron ka na kaagad solusyon, you know, a long term. That's why you have a short term and a long term uh, approach, especially in dealing with business or your living. So, uh, mas inisip ko dito is, uh, probably nakaganda na rin yung pagiging tourism of, uh, officer ko ng Dolores Quezon. Kasi uh, what happened was, right. dati, when I do my regular marketing kasi talaga, like, yung mga meat and all that, yung iba sa groceries. Pero yung vegetables talaga, nire-reserve ko siya dun sa farmers ng Dolores Quezon. So basically, okay. may idea na talaga ako magkano yung mga gulay and all that. So nung tumama tong si pandemic, parang right a week after na mag-declare ng ECQ, parang bigla na lang siya nag-pop up sa utak ko. Sabi ko, bakit hindi ko gawin na magtinda ako ng gulay dito sa lugar namin kasi naalala ko walang tindahan ng mga fresh veggies dito sa area ko eh, where I live. Meron, siguro mga 500 to 600 meters away pa. So dito sa community area ko, wala. Tapos sabi ko, I have suppliers naman which are the farmers ng, ng kinabuhayan sa Mount Banao sa so Dolores Quezon. Tapos at the same time, mas ma-encourage being an IATF operative myself, mas ma-encourage ko pa kasi yung mga tao na hindi masyadong lumabas o pumunta pa ng palengke to do that. Tapos right. mababa ko rin lang naman na bibenta. So parang it's a it's like a value chain na matutulong ako itong mga farmers na mahamper ang transport ng kanilang mga bagulay. At the same time, uh, makakatulong ako sa mga neighbors ko na to go to the palengke para kumuha ng gulay nila. Hanggang after mga after 3 to 4 days, naisip ko na ba't hindi ako mag-deliver para mas lalo ko ma-encourage yung mga tao na hindi sila lumabas ng bahay talaga. Uh, right. Pag nga nagde-deliver kami, lagi akong binibiro ng mga ibang customers namin na best in national costume kami. Kasi together with the face shields, may mask kami and all that. Nakakatuwa, okay. you know, it's a good ano, it's a good a source of laughter ba amid all this. So, hmm. yun ang sinimulan ko. I started with the vegetables. Tapos isa pa yung demand sa, sa mga healthy na pagkain is uh, mataas dahil nga yung immune system mo ang 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 solusyon para malabanan ng covid di ba so right. doon nag-start yon sabi ko um, mas inisip ko kasi na wala akong wastage eh kasi kung sakali man alam mo yung pang-araw-araw namin sa family nakakainin pwede kong kuhanin doon sa tindahan and okay. uh, i don't need to spend anything uh, with that until such time na from the suggestions and and inquiries ng mga clients namin nagtatanong na sila ng pork meats, nagtatanong na sila ng chicken. So padagdag ako ng padagdag ng ano ng uh, ibinebenta. Uh, right. hanggang sa pati yung mga basic groceries na rin like mga MSG, mga magic sarap, yung mga usual pepper, salt, uh, tokwa, you know, tinapa, toyo, hanggang sa itlog, itlog na maalat, hanggang sa yun nag ano na nagsama-sama na And then what's good about it is sabi ko nga uh, being in the travel agency and being you know a travel agent myself. Mm-hmm. Ang importante lang talaga diyan is you know how to use utilize your skills and your knowledge but else do you know? 'Di ba? Mm-hmm. 
And your willingness to do it is your attitude. So, alam mo yan, being an ASEAN master uh, and right. MRATP representative, we know the KSA, the knowledge, skills, and attitude. Sabi ko, right. I have good selling skills because I do that for, for the travel agency. I, I do marketing also because uh, that's what I do also, you know. I source out suppliers. So, I might right. use all these competencies in order for me to actually do something else. Like mm-hmm. yung sa ibang produkto naman, di ba? Yeah. Tapos, uh, nakakatuwa lang kasi it started out with my friends, started out with some of my clients also in the travel industry. Yung mga pasahero ko rin, sila rin yung mga nagpapadeliver, sila yung nag inquire To be honest nga, maraming, uh, maraming medyo ano, eh, nalungkot kasi I cannot drive ano, eh, outside Laguna. So right. yung iba, gusto nila nagpadeliver sa Paranaque, sa Quezon City and all that. Sobrang dami na, no? Hanggang sa... Oh, hanggang sa lately, I ventured already na sabi ko bakit hindi ko i-relate itong pagbebenta ko ng mga ng mga supplies na ganito into something else kasi in the marketing, 'di ba? Kailangan strategic ang ang approach mo. That's why I'm sure you've been seeing my post. Nilalagyan ko na ng kwento. Ito na nga diba lahat, so, na ko. Share natin, no? Uh, we can see here in the in the presentation, no? The the various offerings that you're currently offering for others. Ang dami na rin talaga, no? Yeah. Great. So yeah, so good, katulad no? na lang yung coffee. Right. Yeah, tulad ng coffee, that's a local product of Dolores. So, habang restricted ang movements pa, so I make it like if you wanted to see how Dolores is, grab a cup of coffee. You know, yung nilalagyan siya ng story, ah, para, para mas may dating. You know, para at least makabawas ba. Katulad nung yung chiffon cake, nilagay ko ng cake na hindi nilalanggam kasi hindi na siya inaabutan dahil nauubos na. You know, you just have to create, you know, a tool like right. that in order for you to to actually to, to actually sell. Tapos, um, some of the products of right. the members of the ATA, which is the Association of Tourist uh, Travel and Tour Agencies of Calabarzon, some of them are baking kasi shinare ko sa okay. kanila. If you have skills, if you have knowledge, use it. This is the right time for you to use it. Sabi ko, so most of them are baking, so itinitinda ko rin yung mga ginagawa nila, like the cream puff there that you can see from the photo. Okay. Yeah, that's right. baked by Lakbay Kabayan Travel and Tours of Lipa City. So, yung mga right. ganyan that we are able to help, nagbibiroan nga kami. Sabi ko, yung ATTA used to be the Association of Travel and Tour Agencies of Calabarzon. Ngayon, it's still a ATTA Reborn. Kaya lang oh, siya association of association of traders tindahan at iba pa Calabarzon. Okay. <laughs> All right. So talagang ano lang, I think at at the end of the day really right now it's best if we can collaborate with our ano no, our colleagues, 'di ba, our partners in the industry, not only in tourism but in everything else, 'di ba? Exactly. Yan yung ano, yan yung uh, sinasabi ko rin na naririnig ko din from others na kung temporarily na, na hamper or na stop tayo in the tourism industry, let's still connect with our suppliers. You know, let's mm-hmm. keep that open communication with them. For example, I've been supplying this coffee to a friend who is a director of sales for uh, for a hotel in Bohol. You know? Okay. So, so yung, alam mo yun, yung connection ninyo, dati because you're getting contracted rates, you've been making reservations and all that, ngayon, right. na, 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 nakikip uh, aflame nyo pa rin siya kasi nakakausap pa pa rin siya, though it's a different product. But then again, ang importante kasi yung communication line is open with your suppliers to, to, to right. make them feel na, oh, we might have stopped for a while, pero hindi ibig sabihin, we're completely dead. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that pagbalik right. ng turismo, you know, things will still be easy. Kasi, oh, kahapon lang, baka gusto mo pang umorder ng kape habang nagbubuka ng, ano, ng, ng pasahero na, di ba? So, it's it's right. a discovery of other ano it's a discovery of other uh, avenues. Sabi nga kanina ni Madam, uh, pagkain yung marami nagbebenta kasi pa, siguro sa pandemic na ito ito talaga yung nag-emerge na need na it right. will go across all any other crisis, di ba? Right. And everybody eats every day, no? Exactly. Great. So I understand Jack not later kasi I, I, you have a 3 p.m. So baka hindi ka na makas- makasama sa wrap-up natin later. So, if meron kang recommendation, maybe you can share a little of what you can 
advice to our tourism stakeholders na nawalan ng trabaho and anong pwede na lang gawin ngayon? Okay. So just to share up to everybody, uh, the first thing that you need to know, to, need to have is your drive to survive. Sabi ko nga kay Martin kanina on our uh, private chat earlier, um, your pride will not fill your starving stomach. Right. So, uh, and there's nothing wrong in, you know, divesting or pivoting to another business anyway. Kasi right. kung saan ka mabubuhay, di ba? Sabi ko nga, kung lahat tayo after this pandemic is over ay buhay, you know? That means God has given us that second chance to rise up and recover again. Right. That's so th- let's look at that. Let's look at it on that perspective. Tapos, mm-hmm. look around you. What are the available resources you have around you? Because that's right. where you're gonna work. I cannot say that. Oh, you go, you go sell gulay and then you live in the vicinity of uh, an urban community. You know. So mm-hmm. look at what are the available resources you have around. Tapos. Uh, as much as possible, you say local. Kasi that actually would help the economy stabilize. You know? Okay. So, yun lang yun. Tapos isipin mo, ano ba yung mga ginagawa mo prior to your job as a travel agent? Ano yung mga ginagawa mo before na pwede mong gawin? Pwede ka magbenta ng ice candy. Make the use of the summer heat. Pwede ka magbenta ng Oreo, popsicles. Exactly. You, you can always do that. Di ba? Kasi nga, Tingnan mo kung ano yung environment mo, tingnan mo kung ano available resources that you have, um, maging, uh, mag-persevere ka, tsaka yung resiliency mo talaga. Kasi when you invest with food, hindi ka magugutom yung family mo. You can eat three to five times a day still. You know? Uh, kahit right. papaulit-ulit na gulay yan, it doesn't matter for as long as you eat. There are people who don't eat at all. <laughs> Tapos talaga, <laughs> tiwala yan. Yeah. We have a feedback from Facebook. Sabi ni Miss Eleanor Nang, hi yeah. daw and grabe ko mag-multitasking. Sobrang <laughs> dami. Actually, I'm taking orders now. <laughs> yeah. no, Thank you very really, much. Really, really. Yun yung, lang yun lang yun. Just right. keep on fighting. Just being alive after all this is already a success. You're halfway right. through. That's right. Okay, thank you very much for joining us, Relax, and I hope to see you, you again. All right. Okay, so ayan naman po, no? narinig natin yung mga na-share ni Lax sa kanyang ginagawa. Sobrang dami. Tama ka, Miss Eleanor. Ang dami niyang ginagawa right now. But I think that's really about yung iba sa atin, yung side hustle nila became their main hustle because wala na talagang business, walang uh, opportunities in terms of tourism right now, right? So you really have to be innovative. You have to be creative. Now, let's try to listen now to Miss Yafa Cirelos. No? So just to share, no, as mentioned kanina, di ba? She is the, uh, cur- currently a flight attendant. No? So maybe we can share uh, ang ating background naman ni Miss Yafa. Hi, Yafa. Hi! Hi, Martin! Thank you, Sir Lack, for the message. Great. I'm so, okay, I'm okay. Great. Uh, yung, so I mentioned earlier that you're a lead cabin crew for Cebu Pacific, right? Mm-mm. Yes, Kamusta I am actually... Uh, sorry. Yung mga flights ngayon, kamusta? Wala pa kaming flights ngayon. Meron, meron mga flights, pero parang puro cargo flights lang muna. Okay. Mm-hmm. So nag-stop so, talaga yung operation ng Cebu Pacific for I think um, for two months na more on car- cargo lang talaga. Okay. Mm-hmm. And ano, are we looking at maybe having that may, may mga ano na ba? May nakikita na ba tayong schedule anytime soon? Sa ngayon or, wala pa. Sa ngayon wala na- pang schedule. Pero i- na-update naman nila kami through email all the time. So so yun, nagsistart na lang din, mag, nag-iisip na lang din ako ng ibang pwedeng pagkakitaan habang Correct. wala pang flight, di ba? Oo. Correct. So, mm-hmm. na-mention mo, uh, down yung mga flights. And in fact, we've been seeing this in social media. Different international airlines, you know, basically down on the ground, di ba? 400, 300 pilots, flight attendants losing their jobs, yeah, di ba? So, and I'm sure this is the reality as well in the Philippines, correct? Yes, that's true. Um, so ngayon, hindi pa kasi natin sure kung hanggang kailan to matatapos, ba? So, 
ayun nga, kailangan lang natin siguro talagang i-motivate yung isa't isa, lalo na dun sa mga kasama ko or mga kapwa ko, cabin crew, na right. mag-isip sila ng ibang pwede nalang pagkakitaan sa ngayong mm-hmm. quarantine pa. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, so you're a flight attendant, but currently you're also a certified or a licensed financial advisor. At Oo. ano pa? Ano pang ibang pinakabalaan mo ngayon? <laughs> Actually, I am a flight attendant of Cebu Pacific for seven years. And I'm okay. also a part-time financial advisor of Sun Life for a year and a mm-hmm. month now. And right. ngayong quarantine, I started to open this store, Sari Sari store outside our house. It used to be a bakery kasi mm-hmm. na it managed by my brother. Pero nagsara na siya years ago pa. So... Yun lang, na- naisip ko lang siya, na-open, kasi sayang naman din yung space. And I have nothing to do here inside our house din naman, bukod sa pagbenta ng life insurance, pag-offer ng life insurance. So, yun, dun, dun lang na talaga nag-start yung idea na mag-open ako ng isang sari-sari store. Maliit right. lang yan, mukhang nung malaki sa picture. <laughs> right, but mukhang, ano, mukhang punong-puno, ah. It's good that you were able to invest, no? Kasi that's a challenge with most of us, no? Ang... Ang, ang tendency natin, iniisip natin, I only have little, so ititipid ko na lang to. But eventually, ang nangyayari, nagagastos natin, di ba? Ang, oh, ang mga exactly. napabi natin konti. At least, you were able to invest, tapos, nawapaikot mo yung pera, tama ba? Yes, tama yan. Kasi, um, bukod sa, kunyari, nag-stay ka lang sa bahay mo, and then, hmm. actually, kasi few days, ganun lang din naman yung ginagawa ko eh. Yung start ako mag- ang start pa lang yung ECQ, gano'n lang naman din yung ginagawa ko. I mean, wala akong, wala akong flight. So, more on, nandito lang ako sa bahay, kumakain, natutulog, Netflix and chill, nag exercise or whatever. Yung normal na ginagawa natin, yun lang yun eh. And then, isip ko sa umaga, ito yung isip ko na ano pa bang pwede natin gawin? Ano pa bang pwede right. natin pagkakitaan habang quarantine? Kasi it's, it's really a long time na. The more na na-extend nila yung the more they extend the ECQ, the more na mag-iisip kung hanggang kailan ba to, magi stable pa ba yung pagiging yung trabaho mo after this, or hindi naman sa nagiging negative ka, pero you have to think of, di ba, kailangan mo rin naman isipin kung ano yung pwede nangyari in the future. So, so yun, maliit lang yung tindahan ko, hindi naman din malaki yung kapitan na ginamit ko. So tama yung sinabi ni Sir Lux kanina, you have to look around you, see what resources you have para ibenta. Actually, para yung sinabi ni Sir Lax, parang branch out niya ako dito sa amin eh. Kasi yung tinitinda ko, kapareho ng tinitinda niya. Natatawa okay. nga ako kanina. So parang sabi ko, ay parang pareho kami nung binibenta ni Sir Lax. And tama din siya, na huwag kang mahiya. Kung ano man yung ipost mo dyan sa Facebook or kung ano man yung tinitinda mo, huwag kang mahiyang i- ipakita sa ibang tao. Kasi kinakain din naman yan. And... Sure. Diba? At saka, kahit, pa, kahit maliit lang yung capital mo or kahit uh, maliit lang yung tindahan or nag-start ka lang sa maliit na budget, okay lang yun. At least napapaikot mo yung pera mo. And at the same time, nasusustain mo yung pambayad mo ng bills. I mean, diba? Hindi naman natin alam kung kailan matatapos ng pandemic. Hindi natin maalam when will be back to normal. But at least right now, you still, the only thing, the only thing na kailangan natin isipin ngayon is to pay for our bills, to buy right. the food na kailangan natin everyday. So, mm-hmm. kailangan mo rin paikutin yung pera mo. Diba? Kailangan mo mag-save, kailangan mo bayaran ng bills mo, kailangan mong bumili ng pagkain para makasurvive this, para makasurvive ngayong pandemic na to. So, yun. Isipin mo lang na na marami pang opportunities despite this pandemic. Sobrang dami pa. I mean, kahit pa lahat kayo ng mga kaibigan mo magbenta online. Actually, lahat nga ng, na, nasa internet ngayon, lahat nagbebenta na online, di ba? Wala naman sigurong masama doon. Kung ikaw bumili ka sa akin, bibili ako sa'yo. Yung nagbebenta, pareho tayo nagbebenta. Bumili ako sa'yo, bumili ka sa akin. Di ba? Pareho tayo nakatulong sa isa't isa. Umikot lang yung pera natin, di ba? Na, ma- makakasurvive tayo every day hanggang matapos to. Tama yung mga sinabi ni Sir Lux kay- Great. Okay. So, Yafa, you're a financial advisor. And so, of course, no, sabi nga nila, it's not how much, you know, I, I think that's one of our realizations in this pandemic. It's not how much you make, but how much you save. 
Can you share uh, us a little information about the importance of saving and investments? Um, ano ang masasabi ko lang diyan? Actually, medyo mahabang dis- discussion na right. But mm-mm. Pero ako kasi I'm I'm actually a late bloomer with regards to saving and investment as well, to be honest. Okay. Late mm-hmm. late ko na siya na realize. And then right. um, my friend introduced me to Sun Life. Okay. Doon lang doon ko lang din na realize lahat na I really need to save, I really need to invest. Right. So right now, ka, na, na, nung nag-save ako ng mga time, right now may ginagamit pa ako. May, may, may panggasos pa ako sa araw-araw ko and pambayad ng mga bills ko. So, right. alam mo yun, kung nagsisave ka na noon pa, mas malaki yung mga gamit mo ngayon. So, but it's never too late to save or it's never too late to invest. You have, um, ipag-isipan mo lang din siyang mabuti. Kasi I, I know that this is your money. Eh. Money mo yan, so kailangan mo pag-isipan mabuti kung paano mo siya gagastosin. And savings, hindi ka talo dun. Savings or investment, hindi ka talaga talo. It's for you. Sina save mo lang siya para sa future mo. Yun lang naman yun. That's right. Very good. It, in fact, a lot of uh, our viewers right now are being inspired. Pero nagsabi dito si Miss Muriel Nicolas, sabi niya, hashtag goals ka daw. No? So marami pong nai-inspire ngayon kay uh-huh. Yaka. Very good. No? And sabi din ni Miss Mary Jane, nag agree siya. Tama naman daw. Basta legit daw ang, ang ating ginagawa. Go, go, go lang daw. No? So basta nakakatulong, di ba? In fact, yung ginagawa mo, nakakatulong ka. Kasi tama yung sinabi ni Lax din kanina eh. Hindi na kailangan lumayo pa. Because ako, to be honest, uh, going to the grocery is really a challenge. No? Mag-grocery ka lang, inaabot ka 3-4 hours. So having an option to buy dyan sa neighbor mo will always be a good option. Right? So That's keep cool. it up. Yeah, pa. Thank you. Right. Now, uh, if ever viewers would like to inquire, syempre, no, na-mention kanina yung importance of of investment and maybe thinking about life and how you can help them with their financial management, uh, where can they contact you? Um, I have a page actually that is linked on your page. It's Yafa Cirelos okay. Sun Life Philippines, I think. And you can also message me through my Facebook lang, Yafa Cirelos lang. Great. Sige. So, asahan namin later. I hope you can comment that Facebook page in our comment section in the Facebook. Right? Para yep. people can, can inquire if ever, you know, that they want to talk with you. Okay? Okay. Yes, sige. Right. Any last uh, note? Any last words of advice para sa ating mga viewers na fellow tourism professionals na who are undergoing the same problem right now? Um, Siguro, ano lang, uh, you oh, pray lang tayo pray we always pray doon sa mga plants and ask for guidance teach us nag guidance sa ni lord sa atin para makapag maka survive this pandemic and also um ano pa ba kung kayo uh, tama rin yung sinabi ni sir lax actually sobrang nag-aagree ako sa mga sinabi niya kanina na wag kang mahiya na ibenta yung mga wag kang mahiya na magbenta online if Kung, magpap, kung yung kikitain mo naman doon eh, papapakain mo sa mga, sa pamilya mo or masisave mo pa para sa paggagamitan mo sa ibang bagay. Wala naman din problema doon, di ba? So, yun lang. Um, always, always pray and ask for guidance. Kung ano talaga yung plano ni, ng Panginoon sa atin, yun naman yung ibibigay niya. Doon niya naman tayo ilalagay, di ba? So, yun lang. Okay, thank you very much. So, again, a round of applause, digital applause, si Miss Yafa. Hindi po yan si Ann Curtis, ha? si Miss Yafa. So, <laughs> All right? So, thank you very much, Yafa, for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So, ayan po, no? Uh, marami po tayong natututunan. Marami po tayong nakukuha, right? So, it's really about being innovative. Titignan mo yung mga opportunities. Titignan mo ano kaya yung kailangan ng aking mga kapitbahay. Ano kaya personally ikaw do you think will you need so that you can also think about ideas na ano pang pwedeng gawin. Now, last but not the least, we have Mr. Rap Buendia with us. Now, as mentioned, no, he's actually the operations manager of FB Hotel. Hi, Rap. Are you still there? Rap? Hello? Hello? Okay, so, yes, yeah. Sir Marty. Yeah. How are you? Okay na po. I'm good. Okay lang po. 
Great. So, nakikita ko yung mga Facebook post mo at lagi akong nagugulo yeah. sa mga post mo. <laughs> Puro pagkain, <laughs> tama? If I may ask, Rap, sarado um, ba? Or open ang ano, FB Hotel right now? Um, sarado po yung FB Hotel right now. Since March 17, yung nag-start yung lockdown dito um, sa Manila and then sa yung time dito sa Mindanao. And then March 17, magto two months na. Wow. So matagal-tagal na, no? Hmm. Matagal-tagal na. Parang sinabi ni Rafa, sa simula, parang ang sarap matulog-tulog lang, no? Ang sarap magparelax-relax, no? Dod ng TV, Netflix. Pero sa simula, ganun talaga, eh. Ito yan, Martin. Um, Netflix, K-dramas, kain dito, ganun. <laughs> Lahat na, nag-tour ka sa bahay mo, ang sarap nung first month. <laughs> right. And what made you Martin, sorry. Hello? Well, paano mo na-realize na you have to do a side hustle or dumiskarte na nung pwedeng pagkakitaan? I realized na yung time na parang April na yung magsa-second banta mag end na yung first second lockdown, doon ko na-realize na bakit parang, parang palabas na lang yung pera na na-fund mo, na naipon mo, ganun. And then parang sig- kain na lang ng kain. And then I realized na why not mag-online sell ako, ganun. Right. So na, I realized na paano ba mag-online selling? First, I have a doubt kung kaya ko ba, kung makakabenta ba ako. Kasi maraming tayo maririnig sa mga online seller eh. Yung, ay, online seller lang yan. Ay, baka fake yan, scam yan, ganun po, Sir Martin. But I asked, um, I asked advice sa mother ko na, Ma, um, okay lang ba na ganito uh, mag-online sell ako? Kasi sabi mo na... Ay, sabi mo nga kanina, Sir Martin, everybody's eat. Tama ba? Yeah. Makain tayo lahat eh. Makain tayo lahat eh. That is our basic right. needs. So, yun, naisip ko, um, we, are, we are very thankful naman na employees ng hotel because the management um, ginamit ko yung small assistance na yun Sorry, Rap, I'm just going to chop the line. So just to reiterate what you said, uh, yung, yung ano ba, tama ba, yung ayuda na nakuha mo, yun ang pinag-invest mo? Yes, Sir Martin, yung ayuda na binigay ng FB management sa amin, ng hotel management sa amin, right. yun ang ginamit ko na kapital. It is small, pero sakto na. Diba? Right. Sabi mo nga, um, we need to evaluate sabi ni Sir Lax at ni Miss Yafa na we need to evaluate kung ano yung resources na meron tayo. Right. Dahil minsan, doon lang natin ma-realize, ay, meron pala tayo nito, magagamit pala natin. Diba? Right. And by that, doon nag-start na lahat. So sabi ko, ah, ito, pasukin ko itong online selling na ito. Hmm. So nakita natin, no, marami kang ginagawa. From a hotelier, being an operations manager, can you share a little about what you're currently doing, what you're selling? I'm currently doing Sir Martin na online selling. Um, I am selling um, um empanadas. That is the empanada in Saimada, rather. Okay. Um, in one po shop, tinutulungan ko po yung yung isang stall, yung isang store sa mall because of okay. lockdown, di ba? Nagclose yung mall. Um, mula na silang income. And then one of my friend recommend her recommend sa kanila na to to have a online selling. Na right. in Saimada King. That is the if you see in the picture that is inside Mada King. So yun, okay. um, um, yun, nakipag-partner ako sa kanila. Um, but before that, I get a food pass from DA para makalusot from General Santos to South Cotabato. And I secure also my health. I have the medical permits for the safety of everybody. Yan po. And then, pero yun pala, Sir Martin, ang sarap pala maging online seller. Yun, yun na realize ko yes na realize ko ngayong lockdown na ang gaan, kung gaano kasarap maging online seller um dito ko lang sabi nga nila ni Miss Lax saka ni Sir ah, ni Sir Lax rather and Miss Yapa wag mong ikahiya ang pagbebenta online kasi dito nagkakaroon tayo ng extra income di ba sa hotel we are in the hotel we have no work no pay that That's is right. reality Diba? May ayuday ang government, but 
it can't sustain sa lockdown, di ba? Right. Ang haba ng right. lockdown. Yun lang. So, from proud lang ako sa sarili ko, Sir Martin, na because I realized na ang sarap ng may meron sariling negosyo, kahit kaunti right. negosyo, right. di ba? From small profit, Sir Martin, kahit pag, pag ipon-ipunin mo yan siya, maging malaki na din, di ba? Nakadepende online. I know Miss Yafa can agree that into aho in the normal days na kahit gaano ka kasipag, fix pa rin yung sahod na na makukuha mo. Tama ba? Right. Mm-hmm. So iba pa rin talaga pag meron ka ano no, side side hustle. Yes, sir. Doon ka sa online selling po, pag more posting, sorry, pag puro pagkain na lang yung sa wall ko, pag more mm-hmm. posting, more chances of winning, di ba? Mas maraming sure. buyers. Ganun. Galing, no? So, at least, no? That's very good. That's a good recommendation, Rap, no? Kasi karamihan sa atin, ito, ah, I think I'm, I'm speaking in behalf of, siguro, in, in, in terms of, I, 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 hindi ko naman nilalahat, no? Pero, Karamihan po kasi nung mga, of course, lalo na yung nandun sa mga lower class citizens natin, no? ang nangyari po, yung ayuda na nakuha nila, ginastos nila. Sabi nga nila, di ba, ubus-ubus bihaya. No? Kaka-ubus nga, hindi nila na-invest yung nakuha nila. After ilang days, after a month, ubus na, wala na, right? But it's inspiring that you guys, no yung nakukuha yung money, pinapaikot nyo, na-invest nyo. So, so that, bumabalik lang din siya, umiikot lang din siya. Tama ba? Tama, Sir Martin. At mat- natutulungan mo pa yung first is the supplier, second right. is your family, third is the reseller. Yung mga reseller mo, okay. natutulungan mo sila na kumit. Okay, so meron ka rin palang mga resellers ngayon, ha? Mayroon na mga resellers sa buong South Cotabato, Sir Martin. Mga, okay. um, some of them are my co-workers. Okay, that's good. At least hindi lang ito ang nakikinabang. Yes. Laban lang. Apo. Okay, so any last words, any recommendations you want to suggest for our viewers na Ganun, baka meron pa silang makuhang support from the government and what can they do kaya to ano to maximize this time earn at least a little profit on the side. Medyo nawawala tayo. Any any last word? Uh, last word siguro, sir. Um ang hirap sa umpisa, but you need to take a risk, di ba? Pag nag pag 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 ano siya pag take ng risk or it na yon nulang regrets no more regrets lesson learned kung talo di ba move on pero pag panalo it is a blessing di ba right. tandaan natin sir um, small steps in the right direction can turn out to be the biggest step of your life so right. make so Whatever you decided to do or whatever you decide to do, make it sure that make that make sure it makes you happy. Great. Po. Great. Diba? So just ano no, meron lang tayong comments sa Facebook. Si Miss Twinkle De Leon, they're saying that they're very proud of you, rap, no? Continue wow. to inspire more Filipinos. Keep fighting, no? Filipinos, together we can overcome this. And yes. I think that's a good sentiment. No? Yan po yung talagang kailangan nating gawin, right? Uh, ngayon, napakahirap po ng sitwasyon uh, and kailangan po talaga natin gumawa ng discard, eh. alright? So, yes. a last few words, Miss Yafa. Maybe you can join us again. Uh, alright. So, maraming pong salamat. Uh, unfortunately, si Lax is no longer with us, no? but Again, thank you guys for being with us. Uh, you're an inspiration, no? and I hope no, we can really drive more tourism professionals, more people to do have, uh, have a side hustle. Because at this point, we need to really start it. Do you guys agree? Yes. yes. Sorry, Yafa, na mute ka yata. Nakamute. 
Thank you. Ayan. Thank you then, Martin, for inviting us here. Sobrang nakaka-inspire din tong page mo kasi ang dami mong, ang dami mong pwede talaga matulungan dito kasi sobrang daming nakikinig at nanonood ngayon ng mga tourism-related jobs like mga cabin crew and also yung mga financial advisors na, na nanonood din na sobrang na-inspire daw sila. So keep doing this. So proud of you. Thanks. Okay. okay. Thank you, guys. And there you have it. Uh, of course, no? we had Rap, Buendia, Yafa, Cirelos, and Lax Mendoza with us. No? Ito po, iba-ibang stakeholders, iba-ibang trabaho. No? Iba-iba po yung mga ginagawa nila sa kanilang buhay. But really, at the end of the day, kailangan po nating mag-move forward. Kailangan po nating dumiskarte, right? So, no matter what, what situation you're in, no, kahit ano po yung pinagkakaabalahan natin, kahit ano po yung trabaho natin, huwag po tayong mahiya. No? Narinig na po natin sa kanila, huwag tayong mahihiya to do our side hustle because we really have to provide for ourselves, for our family, and at least no transition during this period. You always have to trust that Babalik din tayo, hopefully. It may not be the same normal as we used to know it, but really, at the end of the day, babalik din po tayo. Babangon din po ang ating turismo. No? I, I want to acknowledge lang, say hi lang sa ating mga listeners from Rice PH. Mukhang naka-live na naman po tayo doon. Maraming pong salamat for sharing. Again, Sir John Francis, by the way, nag-mention lang siya that they have a pasalubong bagsakan project no, of Rise Up PH, where tourism practitioners can source local products to sell. Ayan, rap, baka yung mga materials natin, sources natin, mga products natin from Mindanao, maybe you can also share. And please, I encourage, we had a lot of viewers. We had from Negros, we had from Bacolod, no, may mga nag-mention na iba't iba. We have from Jensen, iba-iba pong lugar yung mga viewers po natin. Please go ahead and visit that Facebook page, Rise Up PH. Engage there. Naku, i-share nyo po yung inyong mga produkto. Baka po makatulong tayo sa ating mga kababayan. So, again, I just want to end with this, no? Just to wrap it up, grit is having the courage to push through no matter what the obstacles are because it's, wait lang, tatanggalin ko lang, worth it. <laughs> it's worth it, no? Kahit anong diskarte, what, whatever you're selling, Sabi nila, no, it's just a sari-sari store. It's just uh, cookies I bake. It's just whatever it is. Kahit ano pong produkto, as long as you're determined to make things happen for you, for yourself, for your family, it's okay. No? Go ahead and do it. Have a side hustle. In fact, sabi nga, nabasa ko kagabi, sabi na mention ng speaker na si Jason Law, some no don't be don't fret too much that you lost your job or wala kang ginagawa ngayon in terms of your opportunity no in for example in tourism but sometimes alam mo ang mga ito it's like a signal pala eh. yung setback natin becomes a comeback no nag prepare pala siya to greater things and i don't know maybe yung side hustle mo becomes your main hustle baka mamaya mo overtake pa na yung kinikita natin sa ating trabaho and Tama yung sinabi ni Rap, as long as you're passionate about it, as long as you're happy with what you're doing, and also affecting others, creating happiness, creating change, then it's all right. No, It's worth it. No, So last lang po, no, to end. Okay. There you go. So yan, uh, if you haven't done so, please go ahead and like our Facebook page, The Filipino Hospitality. Or also at Instagram, at The Filipino Hospitality, uh, LinkedIn, and please go ahead and subscribe in our YouTube channel. In case na hindi nyo po ito napanood live, you came in late, you can still watch this live. No, I mean, a, a replay of this episode. Okay, so thank you very much for joining us again for Motivational Mondays. Uh, again, this is Martin Aguilar, a founder and chief consultant of The Filipino Hospitality. And we're looking forward in having you join us on Friday, Free Day Fridays. No? Uh, last episode on productivity, we mentioned a little about destination marketing. How important is it no, to really start promoting destinations? Kasi syempre, all of us would like to travel again sometime soon. No? Pag okay na yung mga travel restrictions, I know most of you would like to travel again. Now, we highlighted the importance of destination marketing. And so we're going to 
interview someone, no? meron po akong isang partner who, and co- who I collaborate with, kung saan pwede po tayong gumawa, ano bang best practices in promoting a destination. Meron po silang naging viral na video and I will be sharing uh, the video within the week, maybe on Wednesday, yung kanilang viral video ng Kamigin. Na nakita nyo na po ba yung video na yun? It was a viral video kung saan meron isang babae na I think encountered a deaf guy. No? Kung saan na-experience niya yung beauty, yung experience ng destination, not by words but through experiences through feeling. And so we're going to highlight that, no? We're going to be talking with Sir James, no? And discuss ano ba yung naging influence nila dun sa video na yun. And in fact, meron na pong sequel yung video na yun, which we will also be releasing and uh, making you watch that video through this platform, all right? So I hope you learned something today. Thank you very much for joining us once again. And I hope to see you again on Friday. All right, so that's it for me. Thank you very much and have a great afternoon.